welcome back. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, my name is Smilin Island. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So today is going to be a slightly different video than I've been doing recently. I know I'm in the middle of the 50 day challenge, but today instead I'm actually going to be doing a try on haul. I'm very excited for this. I have partnered up with Cupshe to share some of their new bikinis and dresses and some bikini cover ups. I am so excited. I can't wait to share all of these with you. Um, I'm gonna try all of them on, show you how all of them look and give you honest, honest review of each one. Um, so if you like this kind of fashion content, I will be working some more of this stuff in. Uh, so hit that subscribe button or you can also follow me on Instagram at Smilin Island because I post a lot more of this fashion related content over there. I'm just gonna take a minute to steam everything and hang it up and then we can go from there. That was so worth it. That took like an entire basin of water in my steamer to steam them all and it brought some of them to life. They didn't even look the same after they were steamed. So I'm glad that I took the time to do that. Now, I have three bikinis, two beach cover-ups, and then five dresses that I'm gonna show you. And we're gonna start with the bikinis. Also, I will absolutely be tagging all of the links to all of these pieces in the description below, along with the sizes that I ordered just for reference for you. So let's try on that first bikini. Okay, so this is the pool party ruffle wrap bra and hipster bikini set. So they come as a set, you don't buy them separately. And this is so cute with the pink ruffles all the way over the shoulders. Now this strap, I styled it by wrapping it and then tying it in the back. You could tie it in the front if you wanted to, but I felt like the tassels were a little bit too long. I'm also a little too small chested to be doing that. I needed the extra uh, tightness there. Um, but then the bikini bottoms, the hipster bottoms are very comfortable. They're not like really showing too much, but they have just a little cinching right on the side here. And I feel like really sort of like held in, but this is very comfortable. Um, super cute, love the pink. Definitely gonna be finding a reason, some sort of pool party to be wearing this too this summer. Okay, so this is the Estelle Shimmery Back Hook Bikini. It comes as a set, again, so you don't buy it separately. And it is a back hook, so it fastens in the back. There are three sizes that you can hook it onto. I currently have it hooked onto the loosest one. And it feels pretty snug, so just keep that in mind. Super cute bottoms. I really like how high-waisted these are, but they're a little more cheeky in the back which makes me, you know, it's a little more high-waisted, but it's not covering up too much for a bikini. You know what I mean? I love the shimmer. I was a little worried when I ordered it whether it was going to be itchy, but honestly, it's really not that bad, especially if you're gonna be on the sand all day. Like, it's not gonna be nearly as bad or as itchy as sand is, so I am a fan. This is the thing, I don't even like go to the beach that often like at this point in my life, which is a shame and I always hate it, but now I have all these new bikinis, so I'm gonna need to find an excuse to wear these. If anyone wants to uh, invite me to their pool, hit me up. Okay, honestly, this is my favorite of the three bathing suits. This is the Brienne Tie Front Plunging One Piece Suit. I love it. I've actually never had a one piece, at least not since I was a child, and I've always wanted like a good one. And I love this one because I don't feel like it's covering up too much, but I still feel secure even with such a plunging neckline here. The tie here is really nice. And then I love the back. Honestly, the back doesn't even look like I'm wearing a one piece. It's so nice. Uh, it does have a little bit of ruching right here on the butt, which is cute. This is such a sleek and like, dare I say classy bathing suit? Like this is, I feel like I need a super wide brimmed hat and Aperol spritz and like lounging on a yacht. That is what this bathing suit says to me. And I think I need to make that happen somehow. Dreams do come true. I'm speaking it into existence. This bathing suit's gonna make it happen. <laughs> or I'm gonna make it happen for the sake of this bathing suit. 
So this is the white lace crochet cover up and I love it. I am obsessed. You can wear it backwards or forwards. Like it doesn't have a one way so you can easily just throw it on without even thinking. It's the kind where it can just like easily fall off the shoulder. It totally works. I love this sort of like slouched, relaxed look. It is so cute. It would work over any bathing suit, which is great. And I'm like slightly convinced I could figure out how to style this for like a normal everyday outfit too. So stay tuned for that. But this is great. I mean, I don't really have much else to say other than that this is perfect because it's the it's a great length. Because one thing that I don't love about some cover-ups is sometimes it looks like you're just wearing a see-through dress, like to the point where it's like, is that, is that meant to be see-through? This is like very clearly a cover-up, so. Super cute. I think this really adds to the like that yacht look that I was uh, I was going for. This is now I've I've docked from the yacht and I'm relaxing on a tropical beach somewhere. That's this. <laughs> okay, so I changed back into this shimmer bikini because I felt like this that one shows off this cover up a little bit more. This is the Maybell cover up top with skirt set, so they come together. I love how the skirt has the uh, double slit action here. Love that, and the back has the strap connecting it so that it doesn't just completely fall off your shoulders. But this is one of those cover-ups that I could absolutely see myself styling into an outfit that I wore like around the city, not over a bikini. So this is something that you could bring on vacation, that could you could wear to the beach, but then could also style slightly differently with like slightly different undergarments and have it be a dinner like night out outfit. It's great, it's very versatile, and I honestly love the fit. The way the top fits is very flattering. I only have good things to say. I'm not just saying good things because they sent me these. I'm, I actually like all of these pieces. <laughs> okay, now it's time to move on to the dresses, which are my favorite. <laughs> okay, so this is the Bellin Plunge Sleeveless A-Shape Dress, and it is so, Cute. This brings me back to, I feel like I had a dress like this in like 2014 or something, something similar, like very free people-esque. And I absolutely love it. It's very like baby doll-esque, so cute. Could also be used as a beach cover-up very easily. Now, I will warn you, when you first put this dress on, the ties in the front and the back are not tightened, and so when you put it on, it looks a little funky, but just trust the process. Tie the front and the back to the proper sizes to cinch yourself in, and then it fits like an entirely new dress. But to be honest, if you wanted to go for that other look, go for it. It was just like very risque. I felt like I was about to just fall out at any moment. This is very breathy, can breathe very nicely for the summer. Very much a fan of this. But if you live in a windy city, maybe be aware. You're definitely gonna have some Marilyn Monroe moments with this dress. Though, hey, add some intrigue into your life. Make your life a movie. I think this is a very cute dress. I like it. This is the Margareta square neck, frill, half sleeve, A-shape dress. This is also a really nice, lightweight, breathable fabric, perfect for summer. Even though it's black, it's breathable. It has two layers. The top layer has this nice polka dot pattern to it. Then the top and the back are this ruched elastic. But there's this nice little peekaboo moment on the side here with the polka dots. It's giving me Little House on the Prairie meets Wednesday Adams. A little bit. I think this could be a great dress for like possibly New York brunch. Like a nice cute colorful bag. You can play it up. I feel like you can style this dress in a lot of different ways to make it really work for whatever your style is. But I like this one. I have a feeling I will be wearing this because it's also just so comfortable. Like this is one of those like, oh, that's cute. And it's so comfortable. I could wear this all day. This is my favorite piece of the entire haul. I'm gonna be finding every single excuse to be wearing this dress. This is the crystal sleeveless smocking ditzy dress. But it is so cute, it has this gorgeous slit 
with a little bit of gathering up to the hip, the straps tied. So that means that you could style this in other ways if you wanted. I could even imagine you could figure out a way to like tie it up as like a halter if you wanted to. I like the bows on the shoulder. It has a zipper in the back with elastic here to allow for a little bit more allowance in the rib cage area and also lets you breathe. Speaking of breathe, it is a very breathable fabric. It's very light. I will say it is maybe a little see-through, so this is definitely a nude, no-show underwear kind of dress. <laughs> but this is, it is gorgeous. I, I feel, I feel gorgeous in this dress. I love it. I could not say more beautiful things about it. The floral, the color. Mm. I love it. I, yeah. Favorite piece, favorite piece. Okay, this is the Sarzana pleated off shoulder dress. Now, this is one of those dresses you have to steam before you try on. I tried this on before I made this video, before I steamed it, and it really looked entirely different. Like, you need to steam it in order to fully see how it lays. I like it, I like the satin. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit more formal than everything else that we have. So this could be like a nice dinner. I will say I do feel like it runs a little large, so just take that into consideration when looking at sizing. Though to be honest, I'm not sure if I got the size down if that would have fit. So this might just be a situation where I kind of, you know, nip and tuck a little bit on the dress, make it fit a bit better. But it has this nice sash here to tie, but it is secured. This is not a wrap dress that like can fully unwrap. It is fully secured without the sash. I'm honestly, I am very pleasantly surprised in the quality of it. I also just realized I filmed that entire section with the AC on in the background. I am so sorry. It is so hot here. My apartment is heating up. You can probably see the light is pouring in at this hour my apartment gets very warm. So I've been turning the AC off in between takes, but I am burning up. This is the Hanapo, Hanapu, I'm not sure how to say it. Hanapu red bow tie sheath dress. This is very similar to the blue floral one that I was raving about earlier, but it is a little bit different. It doesn't have the gathering to the hip. I love the slit. It fits so snugly. It has the nice shoulder bows again with the elastic in the back to allow a little bit more give for the rib cage. This, I know it's not the season, but this is like definitely a perfect Valentine's Day dress. Again, I know it's not the season, but who knows when you're watching this video. Gorgeous. This is definitely like date night or I'm strutting through the streets and I know you're gonna look at me kind of a dress. That's what this gives. Femme fatale. I know I'm definitely gonna be wearing this a lot because red always pulls the eye. Fun fact. The human eye always gets pulled towards red first. That is the last dress. I honestly had nothing bad to say about any of these dresses. The only, I mean, maybe I had like little tiny notes throughout, but that was it. These were honest reviews of all of these pieces. I am so excited to have the opportunity to wear these throughout this summer. I. I feel like there are so many options. I don't even know where to start. But thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below, which one was your favorite? Which one would you want to try on? And would you like me to style the pieces in the future for other hauls? Like, would you like me to show the piece and then sort of style it to show how you could wear it like day to night or style it from one kind of style to another? Let me know down in the comments. If this was helpful for you or you enjoyed it at all, please hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram at smilin underscore island. I post a lot more fashion related content over there. And definitely go and check out cupshe.com for all of these pieces. I have all of the links to everything in the description below. I know a bunch of you are probably excited for a 50 day challenge video this week. That will be back next week. I just need a week's worth of time to edit the video because getting the other video out last week, literally the day after that first week ended was just, it was too much. I couldn't do it. So I needed a video in between to provide a little grace period, but thank you all 
so much for watching. I am looking forward to hopefully doing more haul videos in the future, and I'm always looking for requests or suggestions for my channel. So thank you guys. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and most importantly, remember to keep smiling. Bye guys. <laughs>